All right. Uh, Kings. Who's next? Kings. Sacramento Kings. Devin Carter? Devin Carter. I like Tristan De Silva here. I think that's where I who I picked for them in the uh in the mock. Um what's available here? I like Devin Carter here. Um they already re-signed Malik Monk, so maybe they don't need uh a guard. Yeah, Kyle Ware would be interesting, I guess. Um I didn't think the Silva's a, a solid pick. The Silva I have Tyler Smith relatively high. Jalen Tyson, Tyler I love, Smith. but he's not going this high. Tyler Smith's crazy. Um, wait, Dalton Connect is still on the board. Man, it's Connect, that, yo. but I, Connect again. You just like where? I mean, like where does he play? <laughs> yeah, you you just resigned Malik Monk, so it's like, yeah, it's 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 it gets dicey. Yeah, connect connect's there. problem is his defense. I mean, hundred. But it's like you already defense. have Davion Mitchell, and you already have like De'Aaron Fox. And you already have Malik Monk for the Kings, and I don't want to miss somebody else. Uh, Herder, let's see, they're walking up now. With the 13th pick in the 2024 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Devin Carter. From Providence. Devin right, let's Carter. About let's talk wow. about it. Lot, Number four. I'll let you cook. I'll let you cook. Number four on my board for a reason. Devin Carter is an absolute basketball player. I know. It sounds stupid to say. Devin Carter makes play after play after play on a basketball court. When you are watching a game with Devin Carter in it, it becomes a Devin Carter basketball game. I understand he's going up a level to the Kings. I understand he spent multiple years at Providence, and it took him a little bit to get going, and especially the three-point shooting. But he's here. He's here. The development has gone through the roof. The shooting is through the roof now. He took seven a game last year um, and is real comfortable with the ball in his hands. Can also play off the ball. Good cutter. Incredible, incredible athlete um, that I think that not only tested well in the combine, but like you see it on a basketball court with yeah. the way he moves physically, with the vertical jump, with blocking shots, with the wingspan. Um I'm frothing at the mouth right now because of how good Devin Carter is at the game of basketball. And I think Drew Holiday is not only a comp, but I think it's a realistic outcome for Devin Carter. I think he's that good of a player. Alex Caruso, Jalen Suggs, like these players that are awesome on ball defenders and then also add the, sh- the three point shot. Yeah. Like we've seen it. We've seen it work time after time after time. And Devin Carter is the latest in a long line of guys that are going to be really, really good basketball players for a long time. Highest? Does he have a high ceiling? No. But this, you're picking right here for the Kings. You're getting a damn good basketball player. And yeah. Like, you already have Davion Mitchell. He is better than Davion Mitchell was coming out of college. I'm sorry. He just was. I mean, He's Devin Carter is 6'3", or 6'3", uh, height, and wingspan is 6'8". Like, yeah. incredibly long, def- uh, long defender. Obviously – nine rebounds a game like yeah. not even to mention that like he's he's gonna get you the basketball and like you said he's able he's like he's he's not a shooter but he can shoot really well he's not like a passer but he can pass very well and i think he fills a variety of roles that you don't really see and with the nba yeah. kind of moving to this utility player type mm-hmm. archetype that that you really like to have on your team like he could play one through three he can guard one through he can probably guard one through four. Like there were some highlights this year when he's playing against centers, like having to get sw- swapped onto a center and yep. he's just defending against them really well. So uh, I love, I love Devin Carter, not as much as you, uh, but I love Devin Carter. He was eighth on my board, which is yeah. Uh, biggest player of the year, uh, 20 points, nine boards, three and a half assists, two steals, one block, um, 42 inch vert. I think, 62 percent at the at the rim in the half court like there's nothing he can't do 61 percent true shooting on catch and shoot jumpers like there's and it, he was just as good on contested ones as open ones mm-hmm. so i i'm i have very very few questions the only two things i've written down are is like can he be an on ball option consistently and if you have De'Aaron fox on the court then i'm not too worried and sabonis for that matter like you have two guys that yeah. can create and then uh, obviously the the spike he had in his junior year as a shooter, you do you have people wondering if that's going to sustain uh, moving forward. Yeah, those are both those are both the same. Um, uh, minus that I have as well. So good pick though. Love this pick. 